I'm uh, Sean Meehan from Kilkenny. I'm a new entrant to Dairy Inn. At the moment I'm milking 87 cows. I intend going to 120 or thereabouts. I first started researching automatic milking machines probably five years ago. I had an idea I was getting back in. I have sons following on and just to put something in place for them. What impressed me about the Gia Monobox I was speed of attachment, quarter separation, the fact that you were able to attach manually onto a heifer or the pit beside behind the robot you could examine a cow that perhaps had a high uh, conductivity reading. You could assess whether she had mastitis or not physically and you can treat them in the box in, in the environment they're used to being in. Everything is done in liner like uh, uh, preparation, washing and dipping. Well, my choice of where to put the lower vets was very simple. I had an existing shed, an existing cattle slats that lent itself to conversion, and I added a small building onto that to house the robots and, and, and uh, machine room and so on, you know. Well, I found the separation area very, very handy and very convenient for cows freshly calved heifers and so on. You can train them over a period of a couple of days from the separation area and if you want to isolate a cow for one reason or the next you can separate her into the in, into separation area and uh, she's there waiting on you to examine. The train cows on the robot had very good over a period. Some went in the first day very easily on their own out of curiosity and were milked and some took three or four days. I had a, a, a few cows that were took much longer I had them separated in, in, in a paddock outside and eventually I just let them out to the main herd, let them sink or swim and they all swam. My grazing setup is uh, I have an a, I'm running an ABC system. It changes every eight hours. C being the, the, the paddock, the night paddock between six and two and I usually allocate around 20-25% of the daily allocation in C and the rest are uh, A and B are 40 percent. Cows got accustomed to grazing and, and, and coming coming to the robots at certain times over a period of a couple of days. The farm view app you can access it all times once you have internet connection and it's very handy you wake up in the night for one reason or another you can make sure everything is working okay. You can check whether there's cows being milked or cows waiting to be milked or whatever on, on, on the phone. At start up and in, during the installation, uh, FTS were out here practically every day. At start up, they were here to help me, and plus um, I can access them on the phone at any stage or any problem. They'll talk me through it or come out and sort it out. Anyone considering automatic milking uh, from from milking in a previous life, milking in, in a parlour, there's a complete difference. It's a more relaxed way of life. It's, you do things that you're, when, it, when it's convenient for you. And um, I suppose the advice is go gear. <laughs> <laughs>